right, it's Rebecca Stanzik joining us. She is our mom blogger, our mom, uh, bit of mom sense. And uh, now, a lot of us and a lot of you planning these really extravagant, wonderful <laughs> nights out, and, you know, yeah. the toast of champagne. A lot of us have the kids, we can't find a babysitter, and so we're trying to be able to find uh, interesting, entertaining things to do with the kids. We do ours, we, we uh, do fireworks at 10 o'clock at night. That's super and fun. And then they're good, and then hopefully we've, you know, tired them out enough that they're ready to go to bed. That is super fun. But you've done some great things with the, uh, with the kids to kind of get them involved and for them to know that there's something special with the evening. Yeah, when um, my kids are three and five, so eight o'clock, nine o'clock will be the big late time for them. That's pretty late for their bedtime. So when I told them we were going to do some New Year's Eve crafts, they were a bit more what's a New Year's Eve versus when I said, okay, we're going to make party hats, they understood party. Okay. So we want to involve them somehow. It's a little tricky when they're young because they don't understand it as well. They kind of judge years, I suspect, by birthdays. Mm -hmm. uh, so when they're this age to have this fun party day that we're celebrating, they will understand that a little bit more. And I have friends who do house parties with everyone who has a bunch of little kids and they all come. So these are things that you can have a station set up and as the kids come, they can make their own hat or shakers and, uh, and it's a great activity to kill some time. So so you uh, you said you did this with the kids yeah. yesterday. They've yeah. been worn because they wanted to wear them to bed. They want, yeah, my daughter didn't want to take hers off. And of course, I gave them the shape that they wanted to decide to make it in. They could just do the typical round shape, a crown shape, a cone shape they both wanted crowns and then went off and played kings and princesses for a while see that. they did a great job with this it was fun and yeah you, you were able to cut out a lot of these letters too these foam these foam things are awesome but they because they stick at the back they stick and and so my son was able to self um, peel them mm -hmm. this is just a sheet of it actually and the foam itself it's the whole thing is sticky um, you could buy that at most craft stores the other thing is with numbers and letters you can buy buckets of already made numbers and letters. These I cut out in a very yeah. gruesome way. You've done but it really well, but the dollar store can do an amazing job. <laughs> exactly, to do exactly. What we've all been My there sheets and that picked I cut. Out and picked out those boxes. Okay, right. so I'm going to finish doing this one because I'm really into this. And now. then for the cone one, you can do, um, and if you have other kids over, even your own kids, you can have their names. You can have them write their names with the, the foam sticky stuff. The cone one's fun because you can get some really fun looks to it if you have the party type of style. And then add the embellishments and so what we call these were felt that I had cut out and that's what the kids wanted to decorate on their crown shape um, we called them jewels and coins so they were excited by that I like that thank you very much See, you can yeah. celebrate the year and talk about numbers so there's lots of different things you can put on it and all the kids need a hat plus then I mean it's exciting to be wearing a hat well, especially with little silvery things. Yeah, coming through. yeah, they're party hats, and they get that. They get that concept. Well, they, no, would you have put the bells actually on the hat, or were, you the could? Yeah, the else? bells we're gonna do as well, but you could simply put the bells because they oh, have little so loopy smart things, here. and you can put the bells right on the top, and then you jingle. I and actually, that's even more. Yeah, that'll be a little. <laughs> You're staying on. Okay, now you made the shakers. So the shakers, yeah. Now we've all done this at some point or another. Um, <laughs> what I really I, haven't, so wait. this is going to be good for me. <laughs> great, great, good. But they're, they're fun and noisy. You can use a water bottle, uh, an empty water bottle. You can use anything. I go to my recycle bin a lot for crafts because they're just going to get colored on and glued on. And So you might as well recycle what you have. In this case, we use just simple coffee cups. And taking two of them that's just dried whatever dried beans rice pasta you have those are chickpeas so we dump those in and then we tape them really well because they they shake them hard this, right and we just put them together and then we tape them yeah and so i'll we'll start with that way and then see we're doing this in a four minute segment but we want this to take your kids you want a, a good half hour 20 so minutes or so absolutely time. while you're doing other projects absolutely and it will it'll take them a bit of time my daughter can't do the tape by herself but my son is starting to be able to you know put it on a little bit better and and whatnot so once it's all taped up you can decorate so this was the one my son did he just wrapped it in tissue paper and then we glued on um, decorated muffin Toppers. Wow, you really did recycle. Oh, oh Look yeah. Look at you. You got, you got to pull it. You don't want to be buying new stuff all the time. And then you could use tin foil. You could use uh, fancy wrapping paper or strips and have them tied out. Older kids could really get into like almost a decoupage right. type of style too if they want. They could actually make it really nice. And finally, this is a uh, kind of like a tambourine. 
So this one my daughter decorated and we started to do it. So all I did was take a simple paper plate, which is one of my favorite craft things to have in the drawer, and fold it in half to give you that tambourine feel. And then have them decorated however they want. Embellish it in any way, write the year, anything. And then hole punch four of them across. I'd already done some. And we're and going to stick the bells. the bells on with um, with the pipe cleaner. That's actually. awesome. Yeah, and it re we, um, weaves through, and then you just stick the bells as you go, and you could put okay. streamers on and everything else, and make it as fun as you can. Great, always some wonderful ideas. A bit of mom sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, happy New Year. These are awesome. They're fun. They're fun. They're really good, and I'm just totally got enough things in my cupboard to be able to make those. Sound. Exactly. Uh, and we're gonna come back too. We're gonna be talking a couple of uh, treats. Yes. Fun treats for the kids as well. That's coming your way right after this. We're gonna take a short commercial break.